All right, hey everybody, this is Nash here, and boy, do I have some great news for you if you're a college football fan. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a college football fan. So, without further ado, let me announce, college football is back, baby. We're talking tomorrow. Like, and, oh no, this is just some, you know, nobody games. Austin P versus Western Kentucky. We'll get to them in a second. Nebraska versus Northwestern. I know Northwestern isn't the greatest, but we get to see Casey Thompson and Marcus Washington. Idaho State and UNLV. UConn, Utah State. We get to see uh, Dejon Harrison over there at UConn. Wyoming, Illinois. Florida State. I mean, North Carolina. Hawaii and Vanderbilt. I mean, some... You know, I mean, that, yeah, some of those games aren't the greatest, right? But it's college football, baby. And some of these names aren't any, they're not, they're, they're not nobodies, you know? These are names that if they have good seasons, these are names to pay attention to throughout the season and throughout the year. So, you know, college football is back. But today's video, we're getting to know Texas Tech. Uh, they had some coaching changes, uh, a lot of changes. That they might you might as well consider them a brand new team, but we're gonna look at how they did last year. So, if you like the video, drop a like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. What do you think about Texas Tech? And without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So here we go, looking at their last year season, and I mean, similar you know similar conference. We're in the same conference. We had similar opponents. I mean, their non-con was not as great as ours off the top of my head. don't remember exactly, but I know it wasn't exactly Arkansas level. Or, I mean, you know, Arkansas ended up being better than we thought, but you get the point. But, in the conference, did exact, not exactly the same, not the same losses to the same people, but did pretty much the same. Three and six. Uh, lived in the same ballpark defensively, horrible. You know they were they were a mediocre offense. They were all right. I mean they weren't they weren't horrible. They weren't bad, but they weren't good. You know, so especially and when you go deep when you go deeper into it, I mean like look at the if you're looking at their stats right here. I mean there's the passing maybe yeah the they get they they slip into the above average category. For you, for me personally, but I mean, like what I would consider above it. But I mean, especially on the defense, everything is it, it's it's really it's very similar to to Texas. And if you go to Texas, uh, I know I skipped a, I, I kind of skipped a little bit here from what I normally do. But if you go to Texas, I mean, it's, I mean it's pretty much pretty similar. <clears throat> but so when you go to compare our stats directly. I mean, it's like a, I mean it's they're pretty similar. Most of these guys, like most of these placements, if you will, are really within the plus or minus twenty range of each other, and so we we're, we perform very similarly in the same conference. Now, Texas Tech, I would kind of almost throw out all their offensive stats because they're bringing in a brand new offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach who was at Western Kentucky last year. And yes, 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 this was against a lesser competition. But, I mean, they had a pretty good quarterback. He went in the NFL draft. He, he, he went later. He went to the New England Patriots. He's obviously going to be competing against Mac Jones for the job. You know, Mac Jones, top first, you know, top of the first round pick. But he's going to lose it to a six-rounder. No, I'm kidding. But they did have a really good quarterback, and – it shows. I mean, their offense, their passing offense was just on fire. Now, we'll see if they can, uh, if they can, you know, translate that into the Big Twelve with the Texas Tech offense. It'll be inter very interesting. But it's also noteworthy. This was the guy that the whole Quinn. U I mean, th so this game, we're going into the Tortilla Twirlers, and they're gonna be pissed. You got Chris Beard stole him from them. Quinn Ewers, this was a guy that he was a major attraction. Uh, Kitley, offensive coordinator. So, 
And that is uh, Zach Kitley. I should clarify. Give him his first name. But, so, here, you know, again, brief look at Texas stats. If you want to, pause it here. Not going to stay on Texas too long in this Texas Tech video. But, here we go. On to the turnovers. And, just mediocre. I mean... They didn't. It, it it looks like they didn't really hurt themselves, right? And they, but they didn't do anything to help themselves in the turnover department. Now they did look like a more disciplined team, and I would probably put more of the discipline area on the offensive line. But something that's you're gonna see is it's almost like a brand new offensive line. I don't have the same snap thing that I normally do, but you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Uh, and then we're going to just briefly look at the Texas turnovers as we have done. Again, if you like, pause it here. I'm going to move on to the depth chart. I don't want to really hog up too much on Texas right now. So here we go with the depth chart. And you're seeing a lot of orange names. Now, I mean the same for Texas. So these are freshmen, uh, true freshmen, and then also uh, graduate transfers. And all not just graduate tra transfers of all sorts, like you, you see a Tyler Owens. And uh, as always, again, we are about to give the kickers the boot. Sorry, kickers. But you see Tyler Owens down there on the bottom on the second string. Now, they got a lot of new faces coming in. A lot of them. They, uh, they even were supposed to have one more in Joshua Moore. Not going to spend too much time on that, really. I, I'm hoping that guy makes it. I think he's in the XFL now. Uh, I hope that guy gets it gets it going right. That's all I'm gonna say on that. But uh, you know, trans. You look at their transfers. I got 14 immediate eligibility transfers, and 15 if you consider the guy that's not going to be an immediate eligibility. So. I mean, this is they're they're basically they're taking the exact off. Texas went and said, you know what, we're gonna grab a bunch of young offensive linemen, and uh, you know some schools can't exactly do it. Texas just did by getting two five star offensive linemen, but nevertheless, they're completely opposite approaches. They said, you know what, we're gonna fix our offensive line through the portal. We're gonna grab anybody and everybody that's willing to come here, get them on board. And let's fix this. Let's plug some holes. Whereas Texas is taking the approach of, let's take a bunch of young guys, let's develop them, and this is going to be a better long-term play for us. So it'll be a pretty interesting to see how this works out. But let's move on to the FPI and see how they favor Texas Tech this year. And as always, you see Texas at the top, Oklahoma up there with them side by side Nebraska is actually pretty high I want to say that but you have Texas Tech coming in at 49 with a five and a half win total prediction 6.6 .6 losses predicted so basically they're saying hey we think they're going five and seven and we've been looking at the forecast from a uh, team ratings so what do they say they say the most likely is the same thing five and seven good luck it would be seven and five a miracle season would be nine and three. A uh, meltdown would be three and nine. I mean, so the expectations for the new coach at Texas Tech. I mean, they're not too high, you know. There's nothing going through the roof. Now I would be remiss without saying that we just absolutely dominated them last year. Uh. So we do have that going for us going into this game. And then uh, look at the Texas projections again. As I mean, as I keep saying in all these videos, but just in case you have not seen this video and this or the previous ones and this is your first one, I think these are pretty accurate. Most likely 7-5, and five, Miracle Season 10-2, and two, Good Luck 9-3. Bad luck, six and six. I mean, I think if we had some good luck, we go more towards nine and three last year. I mean, if we can get a stop versus Oklahoma State here, oh, a stop versus Oklahoma there, that's two more wins easy. Okay, find me, find me two more. You know, find me two more stops, and we can West Virginia, easy. K 
Kansas, pff, easy, you know. I mean, Kansas, we should have won that dropped interception. I'm not even going to uh, uh, just just even mentioning that. There's probably going to be some trolls typing the bottom. But go ahead, flame on, because the more y'all roast us Texas fans, the more insufferable we will be when the day comes. But, as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We got college football back. Sorry if I got a little loud there. I'm pretty excited. Let's go. Uh, let's watch some Nebraska football tomorrow. We'll get some North Carolina, some old, some Mac Brown, vintage Mac Brown right there. Uh, yeah. Y'all have a good day. Hook them.